that space is weird. Its mysteriousness is precisely the reason why people were fascinated with the night sky and space exploration since the beginning of life on Earth. There are things there that are beyond our comprehension, and that defy our traditional laws of physics. Hence, no matter how hard we try to understand and explain our vast universe, there will always be mysteries out there that are yet to be unraveled. Today at Galaxian Channel, you will know more about the weird planets you may have never knew before. This planet orbits a pulsar, or extremely compact and dense neutron star that is about the size of a large city. This one has a diameter of 12 miles, but its mass is 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. Another thing about pulsars is that they rotate quickly. Therefore, this planet has an orbital period of 2 hours. WASP-12b is one of the darkest known exoplanets, the day side of the planet eats light, rather than reflects it into space. The exoplanet, has the unique capability to trap at least 94% of the visible starlight falling into its atmosphere. The temperature of the atmosphere is about 4600 degrees Fahrenheit. WASP-12b completes an orbit once a day. The night side is much cooler, with temperatures roughly 2200 degrees Fahrenheit which allows water vapor and clouds to form. A swirl of material from the planet's superheated atmosphere is spilling onto its star. This beautiful pink, or should I say magenta, colored exoplanet is the resident of Virgo constellation. Its name is Gliese 504b, but often referred to as GJ504b, and it orbits its star at nearly nine times the distance Jupiter orbits the Sun. One interesting characteristic of this planet is, it's a newly formed planet and is still glowing with heat, which makes the surface appear a shade of magenta. Kepler-10c lies 560 light-years from Earth in the constellation Draco, where it orbits Kepler-10 with a year of 45 days. It is a planet that weighs 17 times as much as Earth and is more than twice as large in size. Planet formation theorists are challenged to explain how such a massive world could have formed. It is actually so unusual, it has opened up a new category of exoplanets, called mega-Earths. <laughs> After a journey of over 20,000 light years we have reached the constellation of Sagittarius. A red dwarf star glows faintly against the darkness of space. Red dwarfs are some of the smallest and coolest stars in the universe. The star is orbited by a distant planet. This planet is too far away to feel what little heat is generated by the star. It is one of the coldest known planets in the universe with a freezing surface temperature of minus 220 degrees Celsius. The entire planet is covered in a thick layer of ice. Glaciers, canyons, vast plains and giant mountains of ice dot the surface. Life on the surface of this frozen wasteland is highly unlikely. Temperatures are so bone-chillingly cold that any life as we know it would instantly be turned into a frozen ice cube. However, things could be more lively deep beneath the hostile, frozen surface. The planet could have a warm core generating heat. Also, tidal heating caused by the gravitational pull of orbiting moons could keep the planet's interior warm. This could melt much of the inner ice and create a giant subsurface ocean of water. HD 189773b is slightly larger than Jupiter in our solar system, and is located about 62 light-years away from Earth. The planet gets its deep, 
beautiful azure color from the planet's strange atmosphere, which is actually made up mostly of silicate atoms and particles. The wind speeds on the planet can actually reach as high as 5,400 miles per hour, which is actually around 2 kilometers per second. Temperatures can also reach way over 900 degrees Celsius, 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit, on the planet. What is horrid and frightening about this planet is that it literally rains glass sideways along with unbearably fast winds. If this exact storm were somehow to occur at the equator on Earth, it would travel all the way around the Earth in just a mere five and a half hours.